Why should we remember Ashura with crying and hitting ourselves and in this form and fashion? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, brothers and sisters, we talked about the fact that society feels that it is in debt to those that have sacrificed and those that have contributed to it. So we need to remember important figures. But a person might ask this, why remember in this way? Why can't you just have conferences and have books and just name figures? Or for example, for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, have, you know, streets named after him, have days uh, named after him. But why in this way and form? Why do we have to cry for Imam Hussein? Why do we have to use our emotions? To answer this question, we look at man's different type of faculties that he has. He has the faculty of the intellect. And yes, we should remember him, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, logically and with uh, the intellect, and we should write books about him, we should inform others about him, we should have conferences about him, we should have videos about him. Yes, true. But is this sufficient? Is this adequate? At the same time, man has another part, and that is his emotions. And you cannot only limit man to being a logical creature, it is an emotional creature as well. Therefore, if you want to benefit from Imam Hussein's Ali Salam's movement, if you want to truly remember him, and if you want to take his lessons and learn from them and have your children learn from them and have society learn from them to stay, to stand up against oppression, to stand up against evil, we have to use both faculties, the faculty of logic and the faculty of emotion. One of the teachers in the seminary gives the example of this, that the headlights of a car are like the intellect. The engine of a car is the emotions. So therefore, if you want to move, if you want to be able to change yourself and truly benefit from the revolution of Imam Hussein, you have to do it with emotions. And obviously, you have to do it in this way. It is mourning. It is not a joyous occasion. Each event that you remember should correlate with the event. The event of Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, Ashura, is sad. It's full of oppression, tyranny, and martyrdom. And therefore, when you look at it, you have to reflect in the same way. You have to wear black, you have to cry, you have to be upset because you're aligning yourself with the event. So therefore, the best way for us to maximize a remembrance of Imam Hussein is with the intellect and also with emotions, with crying and recitations and mourning for Imam Hussein.